Yeah, still looks pretty good. Ready? Mm -hmm. Hi, welcome back to Metal Rules TV, where the underground beats the playground. I'm Jeff Rappaport. I'm Mighty Matt Gibbons. I'm Derek Scott. Did that thing just make a noise? No, that was not. Okay. <laughs> that was me. Did it sound like Slayer? No. Okay. So you wanted in surgery. Line. You wanted in surgery. <laughs> Dr. Howard, Dr. Fine, Dr. Howard. Did everybody introduce themselves? And this yes. is uh, Michael, and we're oh, from yes. Infernal Opera. We are. <laughs> At least for the moment. Mm -hmm. Alright, so in the news, the news, your favorite band of all time? Not all time, but... Favorite metal, uh, favorite metal band, yeah. Favorite yeah. Band of all time. Megadeth? Megadeth. Megadeth! <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to have a death, you may as well have a mega one. Dave Mustaine! Yeah. Crazy. Working yes. on their 14th yeah. album. Mercy! Killings! Uh, Mercy Killings! <laughs> yeah. Yes, it is. 14. That's a lot. Megadeth. And you know it is because the last album was called 13. Yep. So. There's your proof right there. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. What's in, unless, in, in, unless, you're, unless they're really bad at math. Later. Yes, it's possible too. They've done a lot of drugs over the years. So. I'm a little off on like where I left off the Megadeth thing. I kind of come on and off. Yeah. Like I like really liked Cryptic Writings. Cryptic Writings was, was, was big fans. Was yeah. a great record. And then you did okay. You didn't like Cryptic Writings? No, that's all right. I like. <laughs> I mean, I, I I don't know. I I, I, I like Cryptic Writings. Yeah, but uh. Everything, everything after that, I haven't really been that crazy. But they did an album with Chris Poland. Which mm -hmm. one was that? Well, there was a, what do you call it? Uh, it was supposed to be a Dave Mustaine solo album. The system has failed. And, was that uh, the one that was supposed to be real heavy in the Return of Megadeth? Yeah, but there was a lot and of was keyboards a, on it. actually. Right, and it was totally yeah. disappointing. I was yeah, like, except for the one yeah. song, Kick the Chair. It was really. Yeah. I, liked, I liked parts of it. Yeah, like, it was very keyboardy. Mm -hmm. But what, yeah. what what came after that? Um, United Abominations, I think, was next. Yeah, that was after they got resigned. I thought that was awesome. Yeah, yeah it was because after, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I just think they're really consistent, and you know, I I think he's just a machine, and he's yes. constantly writing, and you know, it's not like he's putting out one album every ten years. It's like. He's still doing it. Yeah, know, he's grinding and doing it and doing it well. Yeah. How many albums has Metallica had? <laughs> like five. Like, like five. Like eight. Something like that. Right. Yeah. So yeah. he's like almost double their their capacity. Uh, right. And I, I think it has to do with his his, his mind. He's I definitely mean, like more good albums than they have. Oh yeah. He's, he's, <laughs> it, yeah. God. He's exponentially a better songwriter. And he's man. a character. I yeah. Mean, yes. Then that whole band yes. combined. He's one of those larger than life personalities. Yeah. That's yeah. why I enjoy being a band with this guy because he has that same kind of mind and he writes so many songs and when him and Bope get together like they have these stories and then they have ideas and you know it's it's kind of like that same you know feeling so right. that's why I think you know hopefully we're going to go far you know I actually forgot about that band it was Abominations of when he uh what's the guy new guitarist Chris uh Broderick thanks man Chris Broderick right oh yeah well yeah it's, yeah, that was, that was, that was a compliment. Yeah. yeah, Chris Broderick, I mean, he's a great guitarist, but yeah. I remember liking the album, and I remember hearing, like, a lot of great solos and some stuff yeah. on there, but it just, it didn't stick. The one after that was better, uh, what was it called, End Time? No. Uh, no, 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 no. Endgame. Endgame. was the, I want to say End Time. We all work together. Yeah, That's what, the one I liked a lot, actually. I thought what was, was the 44, what was the song that had oh, uh, four... Uh, Four, coming back around to like 444 times. Yeah, like, whatever. Yeah, I mean, I, I loved a lot of songs on that album. I mean, the, he, I think he writes uh, great, consistent stuff. And you can always find, you know, a couple songs to rock with, you know, until yeah. the next album. You know, it's not like it's, you know, the number one hit of all time or, you right. know, the number one metal hit. But, it, it you know, it keeps you... Keeps your metal fuel going, you know, so. Yeah, it, He's never going to, I'm sorry, I, didn't do, he, I want to get this out before I forget it. Yeah. Because I have an ADD, it's, it's bad. Um, <laughs> yes. I, he's, you're never going to see well, quite sorry, a return well, what to What were you uh, saying? Something <laughs> <laughs> about my shoe. I don't, know. Yeah. I don't think he's ever going to get back around to, uh, you know, like Rust in Peace or Peace Cells era yeah, stuff. Yeah, Peace Cells. You know, at the same time, you know, you know, I mean, and he, he said in interviews, you know, we already did that, we don't want to do it. And I kind of understand yeah. that. Well, I mean, yeah, right. you know. Yeah. So you're never going to get the an old school scorching thrash album from Megadeth again, but, you know, but I'd much like, rather listen to what they're doing than what Metallica's doing right yeah. now. So. Yeah. yeah. And he's in a yeah. different place now, yeah. too. Yeah. You know, he's, he's now he's a 50-year-old guy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, again, it's, it's one of those things, you, you know, you start writing, 
and then the song goes in the direction it wants to go, and you just let it happen. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm glad he has Alfson back in the band. Anyway. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah, to me it wasn't really Megadeth yeah. without him. Fuck yeah, because yeah. he's like his mainstay guy. All the guys he's yeah. gone through that turnstile, the Mustaine turnstile. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. You gotta have the two Daves in there. Yeah, you need, you need <laughs> Alfson, and yeah, he's I like totally that happy go lucky, good guy, yep. smiling all the time. And there's still plenty of harsh criticism. Yep. for Megadeth. Yeah. You know, uh, Going back to what risk? Oh yeah, really yeah. Cool. Oh, that wasn't metal. No. <laughs> I'm not sure I even heard it. Like I said, I, yeah, I've been kind of like all. on and off the Megadeth bandwagon because it's just like I mean, I, the, some of the early stuff is so untouchable. Yeah, you know, you know, right. he sells yeah. and uh, fucking yeah, he sells and rust in peace. Right? Rust in peace. Uh, I love killing is my business. I fucking yeah. love that. That's album. a great raw album. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so far, so good. So what? I, even, I think it's way yeah, underrated. I, I, way yeah, underrated. That, that's a terrific way underrated. People say that's awful, and I love that album. Nah, it's, well, you guys all love that album? Yeah, the production is awful. Yeah. No, but the album itself but the is song, great. The, oh my the God. songs are, are... Into the Lungs of Hell, Great and Strong. Oh, oh my goodness, yeah. yeah. Hook and Mouth. They used to oh, yeah, open. Yeah. Yeah. They used to yeah. open. Like a fish with, with Hook and Mouth. mouth. Uh, and we're talking... Uh, they opened for Mary Priest Mary. on the Painkiller Tour. Right, and they I open their wow. they open their set yeah. with hook and mouth. Wow. Yes. So, I mean, what does that tell you? That 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 shows you what what he or they thought of that track. And we didn't even mention Peace Sells, did we? Um, I did no, not. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Three times. Oh, yeah. But who's but who's <laughs> who's by? Yeah. Who's by? Really? Yeah. But who's listening to me, anyways? Yeah, but we. Yeah. I mean, some of those, they, they have so much credibility from, from the early years. Yeah. So, like, I, like I'll stick on there. So. Like, I'm not going to go out and buy every album, but I, I'm You'll, you'll borrow it from me, though. I will borrow it from Matt, and, and, <laughs> and then Matt will be like, you've had it for 37.4 days. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you need a library card. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, I get it. You know, he's, he, I think Megadeth is something that you collect, you know, um, as opposed to, like, I mean, there's some bands that come out, but Megadeth is one of those collectible bands. Because like, you got oh, Vic Rattle yeah, yeah, And that yeah, logo like, is so yeah, excellent. Yeah, 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 yeah. The logo and, you know, what's going on, Vic. what's the story about, you know, what's Dave writing about now, you know. So, so what I'm he, always like... This is what he said about the new material. He said, some of it's a little darker, some of it's a little faster. Mm -hmm. Being in the position right now, not knowing what we're going to do or what we're going to do, it's kind of like the world's ours to do what we want. Like are we going to go back to the speed and thrash metal roots that made us wh what we are, who we are? Are we going to experiment and rely on the melody that we've discovered in Metagross songs? He also said that uh, that they try and be more melodic than most thrash bands. Yeah, well, that's always been the case. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because it's not all the same grinding music like everybody yeah. else does. You know, we're just happy to get in the studio. They're saying so they do more. Yeah, you're right. You said it again. Going back to that again, that they're just productive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The songs know yeah. where they go. Yeah. Yeah. Consistent. You Which know? I'd rather hear. I'd rather hear that than him try to force himself to play mm -hmm. for old school fresh. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Because nobody wants to hear that. Just, like, yeah, he's he's always been a nonconformist. Yeah. Uh, you know, and say what you want about 